back. We are back. We are back. Spark FM online, number one for urban and Caribbean music. And like we said, we got some special guests in here. Now, let me tell you why this is important. Because oftentimes, we talk about these different establishments in the community, Mm -hmm. but we only talk about them. We don't talk to the people who run them. We don't talk to the people who are there all the time. And we know about these places. A lot of us don't go into them, but we know them. They're landmarks. Where you going? Right across from Shea Boo's. You know, right across from Shea, the police station, across from Shea Boo's. Like, it's one of those things that we all, that people always reference to. So today we have Derek in here today. He is one of the co-owners, and he brought his co-owner of Swerve Weekend. Hi. Hello. How y'all doing? Doing well. Good, good, good. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Um, tell us about Shea Boo's. How long has Shea Boo's been around? Forever. <laughs> For literally. Yeah, like, Move that yeah. mic close to you. Oh, oh yep. Better? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's been around forever. Over 80 years. 80 years? Yeah. yeah. 1933. You learn something new here every day at Spike. Yeah. Really? Generations after generations. Wow. Yes. People skate for 80 years. Oh, my goodness. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Older than me. Wow. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, I am the son of the, you know, my, my father mm-hmm. actually bought the building okay um edward tony uh mm-hmm. back in the late 80s early 90s he started to you know acquire the building then yeah and he's he was running it for a while and then of course my grandmother greer tony she took over for a very long stretch mm-hmm. and then i took over when she stepped down oh wow yeah. so how long have you been it's... running it i've been running it for a while over 10 <laughs> years now <laughs> wow it's like i was yeah. born into it yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Stay legacy. Talking yeah. about yeah. legacy yeah and that's that's really important too. So this literally is a family business. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That is going to continue to go on. Oh, for that, sure. That's a big ba- hey, yes, yeah, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. Shape wow. has been there as a rink for a very, very long time. I love so. that. And for people that like what what kind of events and offerings do you guys offer at Shape So we do a lot of community events. I'm mm-hmm. sure you heard a lot of the things we do with the city officials and mm-hmm. giving back to the kids and we do like, you know, book bag drives, we do birthday parties. Field trips, mm-hmm. fundraisers for dance teams, and so many other. Oh, better bring it closer. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not, this is my first studio, <laughs> no. now, so I'm, I have to get warmed and that, up. That 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 mic will go where you go, so okay. you just use it so as your. This second. is better. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can even hear myself better. <laughs> yeah. So we do a bunch of things like you know fundraising, a lot of like dance mm-hmm. teams and community organizations. They mm-hmm. come to us to raise money. Uh, we do field trips. We do community events where we do free nights for the community to come out and enjoy. Um, we do a lot of adult events. And that's where Boston Swerve comes in with the adult event scene yeah. um, around Boston. So we built that over the last eight years. Yeah. And it's continuing to grow and get, you know, the name is getting bigger. So, you know, we, I, do, it, we do a lot. When you, when I first was approached with it, I'm like, you know what? I've been living here for a long time and I didn't know that. And if I knew that, I would have been there all eight years because yeah. I love things like that. You know, like really big community events. And, <laughs> and I'm not to say that I didn't hear it. I probably heard it and wasn't like in my face all the time so i forgot about it but i'm excited about this year because it's like you said it's growing it's doing a lot you have your co-founder here tell us who you are hello good morning <laughs> boston it's trudy benoit aka two feet eight wheels okay. two feet. see yep. see i knew somebody was gonna be in here to help me <laughs> number like two number eight it represents skating uh co-founder of boston swerve we really wanted to create a space and a vibe for Boston. Um, people always say, well, you still skate? And yes, there's a whole nation of us that still roller skate. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're hoping to achieve with Swerve is to let people know that adults still skate. There's a whole culture. There's a vibe to it. And we want everybody to come on out. Let me tell you when I found that out. I went to Shea Boo's for something. I think I was hosting an event there or something. And I, there were people just like putting, there were people like randomly p- coming in there, sitting out, putting on their skates all regular. Then they would go onto the rink and I was like, oh, these are professional professionals. <laughs> how long have you been skating? I've been skating since I was seven. And how long have you ever, since you could walk? She was born since skating. I, yes. walk. <laughs> I, was, I was probably born on the skate. Yes. <laughs> before he walked. Yes. What's that? Tell us about skating culture. Like, what's that like? 
Yeah, so it's different than just going around and around in circles. Mm -hmm. um, there are different styles depending on what demographic you're from. So people from Jersey skate a certain way. People from Cali skate a certain way. They skate on these little fiber wheels. They're really, really tiny wheels. Oh. And they have like Stacey Adams shoes. And you can hear them before you actually <laughs> no, see them. No, sir. Like Stacey Adams shoes with wheels on? Yeah. Wheels. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, then there are people from Baltimore who have a style called Fast Backwards where it's like high speed but going backwards in a train uh -huh. another style is trains and trios so yeah I've we seen put those the hours in to learn those styles and master certain moves and tricks why do I feel like they should be like special skating from Detroit is that a thing oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah Detroit yeah. has their own style too where it's kind of like trains and trios but they do more like kicks and different turns uh -huh. it's like different variations but it's so cool because they all have their own cultural style and like even the music they listen to yeah you know it all like when you hear a certain type of music you know which region it comes from uh -huh. if you're really you know involved in the skating community so deep. wow i think that's so good to know because when regular i'm gonna say regular people when non-skaters think about skating like that's what I, I gotta we were just talking before that i need to learn how to skate backwards and how to cross my legs and that's when i know i'm a professional <laughs> um but Ooh. you guys are telling us a about different styles and I feel like in a lot of these different cultures and communities a lot of people think that it's just one way like she's into sneakers now and stuff like that and there's a whole culture involved in that like where people are like in different brackets so this is kind of cool yeah. this is really out yeah. oh, really interesting does Boston have a style we just go really fast. <laughs> that's, why, that's why our event is called Swerve, because you have to like navigate the space. It's packed wall to wall, but mm -hmm. you still want to keep your speed. So yeah. it's kind of like, mm. which way am I going? Like have traffic. You, have you guys seen new, um, um, new, 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 new um, interest in skating with like the reels and everything, like on YouTube and Instagram yeah. and stuff like that? Have you guys seen new interest in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, people see that skating has become so popular in the media. Yeah. And now everybody wants to learn like the different tricks and yeah. the different styles. Yeah. And the yeah. different, you know, algorithms be popping up all yeah. the skates and things. Yeah, yeah. they, they yeah. push it so much to where like you don't really have to do so much to really get people to see it. Yeah. Now they kind of see it and they want to be a part of it because now it's cool to do it, which yeah. is good. But we try to embrace our own style and the way we do things and push it out there to let people know that Boston's not just this side city that has say nothing, it. you know, because we travel and people will say to us, oh, you're from Boston. I didn't know black people were from Boston. Everywhere. Not, everywhere. So yeah. so we <laughs> yeah. try to really push it to say, no, we have our own style. We've, you know, Shavu has its own style in general, because if you go to other skating rinks in Massachusetts, you can tell who skated at Shavu mm -hmm. just by how they how they push off, how they hit the corners, how they yeah. turn around, how they skate backwards. So it's it's important for us to keep that in people's mind that we have our own stuff too and we're just as good as, and if not better than all of the, these other we're places. We're usually always better. Yeah. <laughs> what, I, what I wanted exactly. to say too is that um, you you mentioned other skating rinks in Boston. I feel like that that has diminished because I remember when I was younger there were a lot more skating rinks. I mean there was spinoffs down down where Jillian's is used to be called spinoffs. I didn't know that. Yes yeah, because you yeah. weren't born yet. <laughs> um, and, so, and so you know like so I feel like that's diminished so the fact that Chez Vu has been around and lasted the test of time through pandemic and all all of these other things that have gone on yep. is amazing and now you guys you know do it this swerve weekend bringing something new and fresh into it thank you so much we appreciate oh, that greenhouse you. malika says i went there for the first time since high school two weeks ago and i had a blast yeah. um love this tell us about swerve weekend what is the what was the idea behind that and how are you guys growing it who comes and what is this weekend like that's a lot of questions sorry i'm excited <laughs> We started with a uh, traffic themes uh, in mind, uh, hence the name Swerve. And so uh -huh. mm -hmm. from year one up until now, you'll see a variation of themes in our um, apparel that we produce for the event. And so I one year we put a, a skating guy in the crosswalk <laughs> and it's like Swerve. And uh -huh. Yeah. Like, oh. What's that about? And so we explain it's a three day skate event. Um, we offer a meet and greet where folks can come and get to know each other. This is primarily for the out of town folk to come and, you know, get to yeah. know Boston Skate family the same way when we go to their events, we get to know them. Uh -huh. um, we usually have some sort of hosting uh, event at the bowling alley or wherever we decide uh, to have the meet and greet. Um, and the meet and greet starts on April 7th. Yep. Oh. Yes. Three to six. Yep. yep. Okay. And then we have a day party on Saturday. That's where you can come and boogie because we want to party too. Uh -huh. um, 
a bunch of line dances go down there. So get your wobble on, cha cha slide. There are a couple of advanced ones. On <laughs> skates? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, so I was like, come on, man. On foot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like, I can't All do right. it. Okay. <laughs> on foot. And then each night has its own unique set of DJs. So we've got a mix of uh, local DJs and some out of town DJs, mm -hmm. each bringing their own flavor because not everyone likes to skate to the same kind of yeah, music. Yeah, right. So true. we want to appease to everyone with different styles. Right. Very nice. So it's from the seventh to the ninth. Um, oh, and there's multiple events on multiple days. So the meetup um, is on the seventh from three to five, three to six p.m. at Kings. And I like that you guys are not just keeping everything in Shebus. Yeah, You're right. all around the place so people can experience Boston. Yeah. Um, the warm up is from 10 p.m. to two. Oh, y'all stay open till two a.m. Yeah, for this event only. You oh, know. okay. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't. We not not, not usually. in general. No. What's the usual? What's the usual usually, skating hours? Um, uh, for the adult nights, it's Sunday nights from 8 to midnight okay. and okay. Wednesday evenings from 7 to 10. Okay. So we, we only do the 2 a.m. when it comes to this because yeah. when you travel out of state, yeah. you know, yes. they go to like 4 in the morning, yep. Yep. 5 in the morning. So the appeal of it is to do something during the day where everyone can mingle and get to know each other like the day party or the meetup. Mm -hmm. And then later that night, everyone skate. to get together and skate late night, you know, and it kind of oh, gives it. everybody time to kind of experience Boston. Everything's not so cluttered and, you know, you get mm -hmm. a chance to stay stretch out a little bit. That sounds so dope. Yeah. Then on April 8th, that's day two, you have the day party from one to five and that's at VFW Function Hall. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We get to hang out. We get to do some more meetings. And greetings. And greetings. And dancing. And dancing. <laughs> Not on the skates because I can't do that all day. <laughs> and then the main event is um on the 8th from 10 to 2 a.m. And this is at Shea Vu's with DJ Manny Reese and DJ Black Label. And I'm guessing they're from out of town. Yeah, well, Manny Reese is from Boston. He, okay. He's one of the DJs that, from a teenager, was DJing, DJing oh, at Shea oh, Bowl. So oh, he's grown up on it. And Black yeah. Label, he is from the South. He's from He lives in Atlanta. He's from South Carolina. Mm -hmm. But he started as a DJ at Shea Bowl when he was up here in oh, college. Look, so oh, that's there's so kind cool. of a, it yeah. ties in together, you know? Mm -hmm. And then April 9th is the finale from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. And this, again, is at Shea Bowl's with DJ Big Papa and our very own DJ Dex. I'm excited about that. You ever been, you know, okay. And hosted by, who's this? Me. Yeah. That's you. Because I'm, I'm, she looks very, <laughs> she looks very familiar. <laughs> I like her. And it's like a, because she has an, a boxing, like a boxing situation. And then the skates are her, her yes. I like what you did there. Oh. I like what you did there. Yeah. We'll two, have these. Two, uh, what, two feet, eight wheels, as you yes. said? Yes, yeah. I like that. Two feet, eight wheels. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole weekend of things. How many people usually come out to this? Hundreds. Really? Like, it's re really? usually really packed. Like the last time we was able to do it at Shavu was mm -hmm. in 2019 because, you know, the pandemic. Yeah. After that, we couldn't do it until we came back yeah. of course uh -huh. and we came back a little too late it reopened late april oh, last year so, so we, we couldn't do sort of weekend yeah. we didn't want to rush it so we decided to just come back this year i'm excited and what's what's it look are people excited to come back here yes see that's i'm mad about it because we're le leaving on the ninth and i'm like come on i want to be there um <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be there on the we're gonna be there on the seventh and eighth the seventh and the eighth, eighth in the morning yeah in the morning <laughs> <laughs> we got to leave after okay this is great so how much is it like is 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 there a cost or so associated with it yeah yes yep so they can go online to eventbrite and uh, we have weekend passes available right now for 45 so it's only 15 dollars per session if they do that mm -hmm. uh, only 45 dollars for the whole three days yep, yep. wow really yeah. Yeah, <laughs> wow you know, oh, you know, because shoot. you know people want you got to make it cost friendly for people to come out for it's a whole weekend they got to book you. hotels mm -hmm. and it's there's so much so much to thank it. you for making it make sense yeah. because a lot of times it doesn't make sense and i'm like how did you land on that price mm -hmm. for this whole weekend? No, but this that means it's very cost effective. Yeah. It's very friendly. Mm -hmm. It's very networky, which is what we're all doing right now is networking and improving our networks. I'm really excited about this. What is the most thing that you guys are excited about? Just to see everyone back into the space. Mm -hmm. the way we, you know, we, we've been missing it for so many years, but we stayed active as a brand. We yeah. still were doing other events, you other places. We were doing a lot of events yeah, other places. You know, so it was, you know, this is the authentic presentation of what we do. Mm -hmm. So that's why we waited so long to bring the Swerve Weekend back because we didn't want to bring it back in an area or a venue that doesn't represent what we're trying Who to do. Who you are, yeah. You know, it's for Shavu, it's for the community, it's where it started, that's where we want to have it. So just to, just to see the new faces mixing with the older faces that mm -hmm. have been supporting us this entire time, 
time, you know, the new skaters that got really good over the pandemic that's been practicing and, yeah. you know, the community has been building up so strong. It's just nice to see it all come together and, you know, build from there. For the beginners, beginner skaters, do they feel intimidated or is it a more friendly type of where I, because I'm, I'm imagining it, it's like a bunch of hardcore skaters and professionals and stuff that are coming here for those who are probably just getting into skating or just kind of like, Oh, I want to go see like, what's that? What's that entry look like? Well, <laughs> I'm asking for myself. No, I know. I know. <laughs> and for fr my friends, it's, it's <laughs> something that I wouldn't shy away from. You know, I wouldn't yeah. suggest people to not come if they're not the best, but they got to be able to hold their own. Cause it's yeah. fast paced. It's, fast. it's like, you can't, be on the pole struggling to stand up because there's skaters coming from every direction the entire session. Mm -hmm. oh, but, right. but, but, but. That, that means we're going to uh -oh. be on the no. side. No. <laughs> put me like, I'm a, they got to have a special, like a, like a bike lane. <laughs> they should have. Or you could go to the middle. Small. Oh, middle. But, Over the middle. But they would know who we are anyways because we would be the ones that are renting skates. <laughs> Everybody else just come with their own. So they'd be like, oh, they ain't. I'm going to buy me some skates this year. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to buy. I'm going to be out here skating. Oh, jeez. I'm going to be the skating radio girl. Oh. That's what they're going to call me. Radio. Skate. Skadio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hang up on you. <laughs> where did the name Shafu's come from? Oh. Well, Jeez. it's been Chez Vu before we had it, so. <laughs> but it means in French, our home. So oh, it kind of yeah. ties into how we feel about the place and how we treat people when they come there, oh, how yeah, they feel lovely. when they come there. Because everyone associates Chez Vu more like a, that's where I grew up, that's home mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. That, you know, when you hear how people feel about Chez Vu that grew up there, they say, that's home, that's mm -hmm. home. So it's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it kind of makes sense. I'm glad it's called Chez Vu and it wasn't called something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think it sticks for, for here. Um, it's been able to... Uh, we started off, it's been able to withstand the test of time, obviously 80 years. Yeah. A lot of businesses, especially through the pandemic, didn't make it. And being a roller skating ring, which you actually rely on people coming inside. Mm -hmm. um, what did COVID do? <laughs> it, COVID did a lot. People don't realize mm -hmm. the effect that COVID had on businesses. I don't yeah. care what loan you got, what grant you got from what the PPP city. What PPP you, PPP. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. When you lose two plus years of your business in you know, like you said, it relies solely on people coming in and you have to kind of pivot to like doing dinners and, you know, doing outside <laughs> lessons yes, and stuff. Yeah. That doesn't really compensate for yeah. the loss. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're still at this point still rebuilding. Yeah. But we've done a lot of like renovations and things that, yeah, you know, yeah, we were yeah, able yeah. to do to really kind of show people like, listen, we're trying to move forward. Yeah. Stick with us and we're going to continue and, to keep doing and, what we got to do. And that's something that I commend of you guys because we see a lot of our black businesses. One of the main issues is that they don't reinvest into their business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why we end up going other places because you know the places that are where we want to go that we want to support they just don't put the money back there and right. we've been going there for so long right. so they don't, we don't see that and to see what you guys are doing is really is like really amazing and mind-blowing because we just don't see that we yeah. don't yeah. see that very often yeah. ownership that lasts right. ownership that you know makes a legacy out of it where you're passing it down from generation to generation and then when the generations, the new generations come out seeing that same amount of passion, right? And you clearly have that same amount of passion. I, your name in itself just obviously <laughs> means that. Like, I stay on skates. I'm surprised you're not on one now. And I don't even know you like that. And I fully expect to see you every time now in skates. Um, <laughs> so I think that's that's pretty that's pretty awesome. Um, um, for, go ahead. I did, did want to ask you, um, I know a lot of people don't know on, on Greer's um, story, but she has a very commendable story, very a story that I think somebody definitely should cover, and as well as the Shea Vu story. Do you guys, are you guys, have, ever, have you ever asked, sat with anybody to figure out a way to put that story, that like, uh, together? Of course. Uh, we're working with people now to, you know, I want to I wanna do a big Shea Vu documentary. I wanted that to would be great. I wanted to do it. I wanted to, we kind of started doing it during the pandemic, mm -hmm. but we couldn't really do it the way we wanted to because everything was shut you down. How are we telling the story yeah. if mm -hmm. everybody can't come together to tell the story right? Yeah. So uh, we're looking to do that very soon. And, uh, you know, these are the things we're doing to make that story as impactful as possible like you yeah. know things like swerve and what we're doing now versus what was happening then mm -hmm. how things are going now and just the change in the perception of shavu because everyone didn't always have the best things to say about shavu mm -hmm. yeah. so, i remember 
of that so, because you know, Shabu has gone through their little te- their little trials and tribulations where yeah. a lot of violence was being and and with Boston and media, you just never know if it was actually Shabu's, if right. it was down the street from exactly. Shabu's. But yeah. a lot of times, people use the closest, the lowest hanging fruit. To be like, oh yeah, there was a shooting at Shea Booth. That happened 12 blocks down the street. Right, exactly. That wasn't it. Right. Exactly. So how do you guys do PR around that kind of stuff? So it's becoming a little easier now because those things are not happening often. Mm-hmm. You know, it was the norm back then. It was just something that was a, happening in the community. We was just the centerpiece of what people did mm-hmm. uh, on the weekends. Everyone went to Shea Booth. So of course, if you have a packed you know, every session is packed. Everyone's always there. Yeah. When conflict arises, I mean, you know, we can't do anything about it once yeah. they leave our building. Mm-hmm. Like, when they're in Shavu, even back then, when they're inside Shavu, you really you barely, you barely even see anything. But yeah. then when they leave and go 10 blocks up the road, and like yeah. you said, that association, <laughs> they, they they know, oh, those people just left Shavu, even if they didn't even come inside. Yeah. Right? We still get the blame because yeah. we're, a tr- you know, we're, we're just that beacon in the neighborhood where yeah. people just can say, okay, this is where everybody was. And mm-hmm. I know, you know, there was no other reason for all those people to be out there aside from just being at Shea Boo. And I think that it's important for you to say stuff because in the black community and our black businesses, we often have that, right? Like right. people always want to blame something or someone on some on things that other people are doing. And it's like, hey, you know, like you're damaging you're damaging our name. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. not right. But yeah. I feel like it's also just a, a testimony that you guys are even here now. And that that narrative seems to have gone away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. You know, after a while, you know, you can't really you blame can't us if, it, if it's not happening. <laughs> you know, now, now, now we're out of the out of the hot seat. Now, you right. know, we're doing so much better as yeah. far as like, you know, the clientele is just a lot more. Cal- you know, it's just mm-hmm. such a calm. Like we don't experience any of that. I love so, it. So you know, and that, that's where Boston Swerve kind of tied in, where we tried to reach out to brand it in a way where it's like, listen. It's not what you think. You know, mm-hmm. Dorchester is not a, you know, you're not going to get shot for coming here. Yeah. You know? Nobody does that. Right. You know, so <laughs> yeah. people have been able to see that for themselves and the word just started to spread. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. Shavu is dope. Like, you know, because I don't care what nobody says. There's no rink in Massachusetts that mm-hmm. does it like Shavu. Right? I don't think so either. Nobody. Nope, I don't they think can, so. They can try to downplay it all they want or try to make it seem like other places are better, but everyone knows deep down inside, Shavu is really the, you know, the ones responsible mm-hmm. for what skating is in Boston. And there's mm-hmm. nobody else that's done that for you know yeah. for, Say that. for um Blame it. for yeah. um you know New England in yeah. general, not just Massachusetts, all up and down. You know, yeah. we've influenced a lot of people and a lot of things. So we continue to try to do that with the branding and you know swerve and the events that we do. In terms and like of you wheels. said, there's a there's a big culture of it, not just here. So mm-hmm. when people, I feel like these are the kind of things that actually let people know exactly what you said that there are black people in Boston. Yes, we do got black skating ranks. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> you know, like these kind of things when people actually bring good influence and positive vibes from outside back into the city. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you guys most excited about um, just kind of getting this weekend over with? I know, like, it's always, like, the anxiety, mm-hmm. like, is anybody going to come? Like, how many people going to come? What are we going to do? Yeah. Like, how are you feeling especially about it? I'm looking forward to seeing everybody and welcoming mm-hmm. everybody, you yeah. know, back into the space and being together in community. I think what Derek has done successfully is done a lot of work on rebranding. Yeah. And so offering a unique experience of like just come out, come enjoy, come and see, come and be with us. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, just being among our people. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it's, yeah. I think it's dope that Community. I only have to go 10 minutes down the road yeah. right. to experience Black Boston mm-hmm. and not have to like yeah. search mm-hmm. it out. Yeah. So yeah. it's a huge thing for me. It just, I can't wait. I'm looking forward it. to all three days. Get the, cute, ladies. Yeah, get, get cute. cute. I see because there's going to be out of time. The tablet. cameras will be out, so get cute. <laughs> and the men, the yeah. men's will be there. The fast men's on skates. <laughs> Steal your heart. So you know they're strong. <laughs> <laughs> um, for people who want to oh, learn, yes, yes. you guys. Um, somebody, somebody, no, just, somebody just oh, asked that. Shalir just Shalir. said, oh, good. the lessons, yeah. please. Good, good, yeah. Because that's uh, in my head, I'm like, I need to be prepared. I mean, this might be too. I can't learn in a week, but I got to get prepared. Do you guys? offer lessons and things like that on a regular schedule when is the one of those we do we do um so you can get lessons kids too too. yeah kids and adults Mm -hmm. um either on wednesday nights from 6 p.m to 7 p.m or you can do saturday mornings from 10 a.m to 11 a.m 
So there's two opportunities per week, you know, just to kind of open it up. So some can the can't. kids come from six to seven on Wednesday? Yeah, they can. Oh, Wednesday, okay. Okay. six to seven. And yep. that's, oh, good. Yep. You know what? Because Wednesdays, I be needing something to do yeah. with my child. Come, come down. Come, come, come down. How we do private lessons. Girl, <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna start doing that soon. A lot, a lot of people are asking about that. So yeah. we're going to start doing private. But, you know, we're just trying to get our schedule together as yeah. far as what we're going to stick to before we start doing extra stuff. Okay. I, no, and, and I, I'm, glad to, I'm glad about even that. You know, like we want to get our ish together first before we start doing other things. I think a lot of businesses could learn a lot from that. Yep, yep. Um, no shade. But, you know, like it's one of those. Th- I, I'm I'm definitely going to be showing up a little bit more often um, because I want to learn. And, you know, I think it's important that we highlight people like you guys. Again, yeah, heroes amongst us. Um, we yeah. often talk to the same people. I feel in Boston media, we talk to the same people. Mm-hmm. And the fact that you have never been in the studio before is crazy to me yeah. because somebody should have been because this is one of the people. You're one of the people that we should be in close communication to. Yeah. Sure. Um, when we're talking about there's nothing to do in Boston, there's nothing for our kids to do, there's nothing, nothing, nothing. There's a lot of things going on here that people are just not aware of. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm happy that you guys are here and you gave us your time Absolutely. to just explain all of this to us yeah. you know I would like to thank commend you, uh, well I'd like to thank your family for being a safe haven for so many teens I know we we did yeah. back back in the day I didn't skate much but we did our club swagger with the little Caribbean yeah. thing yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we were just like you guys you guys just had a place for us to go that we know all right we good here mm-hmm. Friday night Saturday night whatever we outside you know yeah. what I mean yeah. so I, I well, thank inside. you guys for that thank well, you. I think, I think <laughs> Shavu is a safe space and it's always felt safe it's right yeah. right next to the police station so which is also so crazy mouth <laughs> media switches things right, up exactly. like we right next to the police station it's yeah. not our fault <laughs> yeah so so that's that's awesome glad uh, shavu is still here so again swerve weekend april 9th through the nope. april, april 7th, 7th. 7th, 7th through the yep. 9th yep. yes april 7th through the 9th uh two uh, pretty much two events each day um, the meetup three to six um, on the seventh, and then the warm up from ten to two on the seventh again on April eighth, the day party, and then the main event, and then on April 9th is the finale, mm-hmm. and we will. I mean, this is a lot of skating we doing, people. <laughs> great DJs, yeah. Great lineup, great host, plus. twenty one plus. So it's adult fun. Yep. Y'all got drinks. Yes. Really? On, on the, um, yes. We're doing that on the Sunday night. Oh, nice! Yes. Oh, and that's gonna be a fun time. Yeah. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna tell, tell tell your DJs. I'm gonna pull up with my hard drive at one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but we're excited. We're excited to be there and to support you guys. Yeah. Um, when um, when whatever you guys have going on, please let us know. Just send us a quick me- email. We want to make sure that the community knows that you guys are here. Mm-hmm. Shabu is home, yes. and it's ours. It's the communities, and we have really great, passionate people that's working there to make sure that we are safe and we have a good time. Yeah. At the end of the day, this is fun. Yeah, that's right. This is yeah. fun times. Yeah. Fun, good, or good organized fun. <laughs> um, where can we find you guys or more information? So you can visit our website at um, shavurollerink.com. We're also on social media at Shavu Skating. Um, and also, Boston Swerve. Yeah, at Boston Swerve and, well, no, that's that's a, that's about it. Well, two, feet, <laughs> two feet eight wheels, but that's more of a you know. Yeah, person. No, but no, we're gonna follow her right now because I got to watch what she's doing so I can learn. So I can learn from my house. So I'm be like, oh, she switched her leg right there at the cusp. Got it. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us today, and yeah, thank you. you for all that you guys do. You and we will us. see you guys on the seventh. We're ready to swerve, but swerve weekend. Yeah. Hey. Yes. yes. I'm ready. We're gonna go to a quick commercial break we'll be right back keep it locked right here spark fm online number one for urban and caribbean music oh.